All right, how you doing? Brian Howard here, BKH Credit Group and BKHCreditGroup.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three reasons why you cannot build business credit for your business. Now, this is not an all-inclusive list, but these are the three main reasons or the three main areas that need to be addressed uh, as to why I'm seeing business owners not being successful at building and establishing business credit for their business, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna cover three points that I think is very, very, very important. And this is just not me coming off the top of my head. This is backed by, uh, you know, almost seven years in the industry of building business credit, having worked with hundreds of companies, having spoken with I don't know, probably close to a thousand business owners or potential business owners about building business credit. I can tell you uh, probably 90%, if not 100% of those that are unsuccessful fall into one of these three categories. The first one, and this is the most important reason why you can't build business credit for your business. The number one reason why you can't build business credit for your business, it may surprise you at what I'm about to say, but it's 100% absolutely true. And that is, you don't believe business credit is real. You have self-doubt. You have doubt about whether or not business credit is real. Now, I'm not gonna try to convince you in this video or at any point uh, in time that business credit is real. What I would say to you is, why does Dun and Bradstreet have business data related to credit and lending for 200 million businesses worldwide and they sell that information to banks and lenders? Why does Experian have another 100, 120 million worth of records um, of payment history, et cetera, for business owners, and they sell that information to banks and lenders. Why does small business Equifax have another 40 million records? These are business credit reporting agencies. So they're reporting how businesses pay their bills and how they manage credit and lending. Why are there over 400 business credit cards available on the market. Why does every major retailer offer business accounts as opposed to consumer accounts? You know, with Apple, you can get a business account or you can get a personal account. AT&T, you can get a personal phone line or you can get a business line. You can go to Sam's Club and get a regular consumer membership or you can get a business membership. The fact of the matter is, is there's more than enough evidence to support business credit. Like we know it's there, we know it exists, but for whatever reason in our internal belief system, we doubt that it, we can have that for us and for our business. And so because we, we know we have self doubt, we try to convince ourselves that, you know what, maybe this business credit thing is not real. Maybe, you know, maybe it's a scam. Well, you're free to believe what you want. But I believe that you know better, but internally the self-doubt is weighing on you. And it's the number one reason why you haven't been successful at building business credit. You don't believe it's real you don't believe you can establish it for your business. That's number one, self-doubt, whether or not business credit is real. Number two ties very much so into number one, and number two really could be number one, but you know, for the sake of this video, we're gonna make it number two, and that is, is you don't have a real business, and you have no intention of establishing a real business. What do I mean by that? And I kind of touched on this 
in the last video I did. You see, some of you want to start an LLC, a S Corp, C Corp, get a tax ID number, a business bank account, and a phone number, and, you're, and you have one goal and one goal only. Let me see how much credit I can get with no personal guarantee so I don't have to worry about paying it back. That's what some of you are trying to do. That's your, you have no intention of growing and establishing a business because if you did, you wouldn't have a problem with paying $10 for a business phone. You in business. If you were serious about starting a business, you wouldn't have an issue with paying $30 or whatever the case may be to have your business listed in the 411. You know why? Because you want people to be able to find you so they can buy from you. You understand? So these are just a couple of examples. But what a lot of you want to do is you, you've, you've heard that you can get business credit and that you can get, you know, store cards and gas cards and credit cards with no personal guarantee. And so what you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to establish a phony business on paper with the hopes that you could get all of this credit and not pay it back. And that's not right. That's unethical. And you're going to fail. And that's why a lot of you have failed because you don't have a real business. You don't have a product that you're in, in planning on selling or selling. You don't have a service that you're providing. You don't even have a merchant account, a way to take money. You don't even have a PayPal account or a merchant account in order to take payments for your service. You're not a real business. So that's one of the major reasons why people are unsuccessful at building business credit. They don't have a real business and they really don't have an intention of starting a real business. So that's two. That's two of the main reasons right there. And I'm going to get to number three in just a second. So the first one is we don't have a belief system. We don't believe it's real. And so a lot of us, because we don't believe it's real, we kind of want to circumvent the process because, hmm. I, I, I kind of know it's real, but then mm, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it the right way. I'm not going to do it with any real intentions. I'm just going to try some things and see what I can get without having to put my social security number down. And so then, you know, heck, if I don't want to pay them, then I don't have to pay them. And that's not what we teach here. That's not what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm trying to help those that are serious about growing a business. And those that are serious about growing a business understand the importance of growing uh, the credit and finances of that business. So that's what we teach. So that's two right there. Number one, we don't believe. And number two, we don't have a real business. And then number three. And again, this is something I touched on in the last video is, is you don't have a system in place to build your business credit. I want you to think about that. You're trying to go somewhere you've never been. You have doubts about if the destination even exists, but you don't have a system or a roadmap or guide to get you there. So these are the three things that you must address in 2019 if you want to be successful in building business credit. If you want to be successful in 2019 with building business credit, number one, you have to develop the belief system that this is real and that I can do this for my business. And then you have to be dedicated to starting a real business and growing a real business. And then you have to get a system, a guide, a map, a trail, a GPS, a blueprint, whatever you want to call it, you have to get that in place so you can ultimately reach your goal. All right. OK, to recap one more time, very quickly, three things that are keeping you from being successful, building business credit. One, you don't believe Two. You don't have a real business and three, you don't have a system in place. 
All right, with that being said, this is Brian Howard signing out for BKH Credit Group. I hope you found this video and this information to be helpful. I hope you found it motivated because I want the best for you and I want the best for your business in 2019. Thanks.